Are you up to your eyeballs in Christmas craft preparation? In just Christmas preparation in general? Me too. I thought this was such a funny idea when I set them all on the table in front of me. <laughs> and I couldn't see anything. I'm like, I should just leave this like this. And then I, and then it was eyeballs and I thought it was hilarious. Because as you know, I amuse myself. But the truth of it is, it's really in the way and really hard to do things. Like when you're trying to type and decide what's going on. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> so let's just move those out of the way. So hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Tracy, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher. And uh, welcome to a paper pumpkin live. Now, this was going to be all about the gifts galore paper pumpkin kit and some of the alternative samples I made, like this one. So I made this one as a as the pop up card, right? Um, or stand up card, whatever you want to call it. And this is one of the things, oh, Tara, this is one of the ideas I had when I saw it. I'm like, oh, look, you could put presents under the tree and you make this big fancy card. And once again, I made a card that now requires me to make my own homemade envelope. But, but as I was getting ready and doing this, I realized that, uh, I know, isn't it fun? Ooh, I love the, the pop-up cards are so easy. These easel cards, that was the right name for them, sorry. They're so easy and they have such impact and they're just so much fun to play with because you got up and down. So I was making this one and then I realized that these kits sold out super fast. So nobody actually has one. So then I thought, well, should I show them all these great, wonderful things you could do with this kit? Even if you can't get the kit. And then that just seemed to me. So I'm going to show you a couple of the, the finished boxes though, because I didn't do that when I was doing the, the reveal, because I can't get over how big they are. Like this is my hand. Look how big they are. These things are huge. So anyone who knows me will know what this is. <laughs> I need sound effects. I do need sound effects. <laughs> so a little Christmas crack, but I mean, that's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty hefty sized bag of crack in there. Um, and then so that was the snowman with his little tag on it. And then there's the presents. And these are just, they're just awesome. And look, you can fit so much. I love this empty, so it'd be easier to see. And they stand up on their own. Uh, yeah, they're fantastic. So the kit that came with the bags. I, I dumped everything out of that one. Um, the kit came with the bags, but if you wanted to put something else in there, you could. I was trying to think of all the different combinations you could put in there. So I had these prepackaged from a different project. So it's a hot chocolate, little thing of marshmallows and a candy cane. And they fit in there. And there's lots of room still. Like I could add some cookies in there. I could add all sorts of stuff in there. But alas, <laughs> what I have, the one kit that I have, is all we're going to be able to use because they sold out so quickly. So then that got me thinking, because you know me, I like to be thinking about things and planning. And I thought, oh, I know what I can do with those. I can use these to put the gift card in that you guys buy to give the gift of paper pumpkins to someone. So this is what I found. Again, I just amused myself. So this kit is called Gifts Galore. And I thought, you know, if anybody else is up to their eyeballs in preparation for Christmas and needs maybe some last minute help, I have gifts galore for you. So one of the one of the things you can do is give a subscription. I like how crack is all in capitals, Tamara. Um, one of the things you can do is you can actually give a subscription to Paper Pumpkin. And I thought, well, what better way to show them the awesome projects that come in them than to give them one with a gift certificate in it, which in the case of paper pumpkin, it would more than likely just be like a, an actual eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that would say, here's your code, here's your whatever. And then some of the different sites and resources, because there's all sorts of resources available for paper pumpkin. So if you get a gift card, at least the first nine people who get gift cards will get it packaged up in one of these awesome things. You can pick the snowman, the tree, or the presents. Which wouldn't it be good if I had actually said those in the same order as what I was actually showing you? Eh, why be normal? That's been my expression for most of my life. Why be normal? All right, so I'm going to push these out of the way. I'm going to try not to create an avalanche on my desk. Uh, yeah, these are awesome. I, I love these boxes. I'm so kicking myself that I didn't buy more because they are just, it's a fantastic kit. 
And as with everything this year, if it was something that would help you at Christmas, it is gone. <laughs> so as it turns out, um, I am a bit of a, a collector, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, a curator of artistic uh, memorabilia, <laughs> however you want to put it. Uh, I'm using everything but the H word. I am not a hoarder. Um, but I do have several Christmas paper pumpkin kits left over. I also have several that are just card kits. Um, so those are on the table too. But I thought if you needed to make your own cards to hand out or mail out, hi Mary, or if you needed gift, uh, gift card holders or treat holders or whatever, I got a few things that'll help you out. So I thought I would just really quickly run through and show you what I have. So these are just refill kits. I'll give you a little lesson in paper pumpkin as we go. I've probably said this before, but Lord knows I love to talk about napkin, so I'll say it again. Um, so <laughs> I have, I know I've also said this before. <laughs> the tissue paper drives me crazy. The first thing I do when I get a kit is take the tissue paper out and throw it in the recycle bin. And I see so many other crafters who do so many clever things with the, the tissue paper. Nope, just annoys me. So this is a refill kit. So all that's in the refill kit, not all that's in the refill kit, it's all the good stuff is all the consumables. So the card bases, the envelopes, the die cuts, there's some adhesives here. I just knocked something on the floor. There is, I need that for my demo, so excuse me for a minute while I go get it. Um, there is some little gems in there. There's all sorts of stuff. What doesn't come in a refill kit is the stamp and the ink. So the stamp set for this one, let me show you the samples here. Let me get my very, I'm guessing, noisy tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> fold it back up. So this is the one that made these two cards. There was five each of these two cards. Oh, look, I got, a, I got a demo table now. If I can figure out how to get it in. Oh, let's put it the right way up. Okay, so this, I love these cards. These cards are beautiful. Okay, so there was the Noel card and this Merry Christmas card. Oops. So this, the only stamping you really have to do is the Merry Christmas. And it is a great stamp set that you can stamp trees on the inside. So if you have your own stamp set, your set. Um, if not, I will loan out my stamp set. But this one has like these awesome tree stamps in it that I can't part with, so I would need it back. But I have the refill kits. And I wrote down on that thing, I figured out what the price of all these things are. Oh, there we go. So refill kits are gonna be 10 bucks each. It is a price to go Christmas sale because once I stacked them all up and realized how many I had, I thought I could get some of these out. Uh, for interest sake, this is also the kit. My camera is uh, doing weird things today with the connection, and so things are coming in in a weird way. Um, but I showed you how you could make the envelopes into bags and the cards into boxes. Uh, Mary, it says save it for me. Did you want one of these boxes? Is that what you meant? One of the refill kits? Because you'll notice I have three. <laughs> so the first three people that ask, <laughs> I have three of these refill kits. And these ones are called Peaceful Christmas. So. I will, I will take pictures and post everything later. I was doing so many things this afternoon that I thought of that at the last minute that I should have had the picture ready ahead of time. Um, but where's the fun in that? So I'm going to put these on the floor now and go off the screen again. Yep, professional show we run here. Okay, um, funny enough, these are in no particular order. Funny enough, I found this box when I was prepping for my BOGO sale and uh, it's from 2017. Go figure. And it is open. And I do remember a lady wanted to get this kit. And so I opened it up to show her the details and then she changed her mind. So it is a brand new kit. It's just not cellophane anymore because I opened it up to show a lady. But it is, and I'm pretty sure it's 10, 10 of these adorable mini stockings that this little thing folds over. Nope, that's not how it goes. It goes this way. And then you just decorate them up, as you can see here. Oh, actually, no, that is right. I did know it. it. I knew it folded somehow. I just didn't think about it. The whole stocking folds in half, and then this folds back down over. That's how it works. So there's 10 of these. There's all the die cuts. This, this one is a full kit, so there's all this, the stamp sets and everything you need in there. And I only have one of those. But that will make 10 little stockings for gift cards, treat holders, whatever you want. That was loud. I have two of these awesome kits from last year. These are also full kits, so that means they have the stamp set and stuff. 
in them. And these ones made these awesome little gift card holders, which are super cute, right? I'll reach over here on my desk. I happen to have a sample gift card. Yeah, everything that the connection is way out. It's very weird. Um, so the gift card could fit in. So you could use them just like this. But they also came with these cute envelopes. So you could put this in the envelope too. So you had a bit of a wow when you opened it. And with just a little bit of extra cardstock, you could turn them into treat holders. So what I made, what I did is I took the cards, or the like the front and the back that you're supposed to, and I just put a strip of cardstock, which is scored so that it's a little bit wider on either end. Um, this is cinnamon cider, and it is uh, gorgeous. And it reminds me of gingerbread, so it was perfect color for here. And then because I wanted it to look like snow on the roof, I put a little bit of white paper on it. You can also make it just with like a strip like this that goes on three sides. And you just like said, you fold over just enough so you can glue the front and the back to it, and then just have an open ended one. So you could have a present in here, or you could have a treat bag sticking out of here. But it was very cute to make them. And uh, I will double check, but I'm almost positive there was 15 of them in here. I have two boxes, both of them full set. And again, that nasty tissue paper. Which is <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm roughing it up. Just when you get a little bit extra adhesive, one of my favorite adhesives, tear and tape. Oh, and now I can't see. Yep, 15. <laughs> I'm just going to not package that up pretty. The important part is what's in it, not the, not, the, not the tissue paper. So we have two of those. Um, all of a sudden, I have no comments moving. So either everybody got totally quiet. Or something wrong with my comments because they're awesome. All right, there's that one. Then I have three. These are also from last year. I have three of these card kits. Again, full kits. These have a great stamp set in them. You have this right over so it's easier to see. You have this big, beautiful wreath. Sorry, my camera's throwing me off today because it's being really jumpy. Uh, the big, beautiful wreath and flowers and great sentiments in it. It's an awesome stamp set. And it makes, again, pretty sure 10 cards. That's how I'm, I'm not going to fight with the tissue paper on that one. I will double check before I post it, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 cards. Makes five each of these two, which are gorgeous cards. I know, isn't the gingerbread one awesome? I made, uh, I think, three boxes worth of gingerbread. Oh, there we go. Now we're moving again. Um, yeah, I think I made three boxes worth of the gingerbread little treat holders for everybody last year. The entire family got one for them. That was the Christmas Day place setting. Um, these were the cards from last year too, and they're just gorgeous. And this, these ones, you see this joy that's here. Uh, oh, I can't think of the words. Uh, there is die cuts in French and German in this kit as well. So you can make, instead of saying joy, you could say, I would like to pretend like I do. I know those words, but I don't know. I can't remember. Pax, I think, is peace in French. Uh, German, I haven't got a chance. I haven't got a clue. Um, but anyways, they do have the options for some bilingual cards in there. So I have three of those sets as well. So refills are ten dollars. Full kits are twenty dollars. And then I have one um, one kit left that is was from the kit collection. And these things, they sold out, and then they came back, and then they sold out, and then they came back. Um, and I happen to have one extra one. So this is the Love Santa tag kit and the bags that go with it. And I'm really not sure what's going on with my camera right now. The bags are printed. There's a bunch of different patterns on them. Um, and to refresh your memory on those ones. Second here. Oh, there we go. They're all they're all bunched together. That's why. Um, there we go. Try that again. Uh, these are the these. Uh, I was having such a good day. I was crafting away and, and just like playing and having so much fun today. Um, and I was ignoring the computer for the most part, and I was ignoring everything else. Um, and then all of a sudden, it was like, oh my god, it's time. So um, I'm still on my crafting high, I guess. Okay, so here's the tags that were that came in that kit. And 
<laughs> oh, I really should look that up ahead of time. Pretty sure there's for each of these ones. So there's this tag, the joy tag, merry and bright. And I mean, the staff set comes with it. You can make them say whatever you want. Uh, this one, the love Santa with like a little chalkboard look. And then my favorites, because if you watched when I did the uh, um, a Technique Tuesday on how to adapt these kits, uh, I told you the story of my first car, my little yellow Renault car that was my favorite car. Um, so that was, um, that was uh, that's my sentimental favorite. Uh, the gingerbread kits are full kits, okay? Uh, okay, and then, so I showed you how you could very easily with a little bit of extra cardstock, the stamps on here are all from the kit. The, the bling is from the kit, the, the bling and the string are both from the kit. Um, again, I amuse me. Um, so those, so this is how I made the cards. I basically just made card bases and some envelopes. And then I think like a couple of them, I used either white or just a chunk of colored cardstock just to make it nice. Uh, so what was that one? That's the Joy one. Santa, I just made them into a bigger whiteboard. Uh, Christmas tree. I love this. This You can't see it on there. I guess my camera's being a temperamental brat tonight. I'm not sure if I'll get it to work, but that's wood grain behind the tree. Oh, can almost see it. Anyways, it looks cool in person. And then again, a sentimental favorite, which believe it or not, I made into a pink card, which is pink is just so not me, but oh, love this card. And this is me zooming down the tree going so fast that the presents are flying up behind. <laughs> in my head, that's what it was. So I only have one of those. And I said they went fast. So the chances of getting another one are, who knows? They might be back for next year, but for this year, not so much. Okay, so uh, I'll bring back my card to play with. <laughs> um, because I like to have something down here to play with. And, I, and I'm always afraid if I change mid, mid uh, presentation, if I turn off one camera or the other, uh, then I'll screw up the whole system. So we're just not going to turn anything off. It'll bring the whole family back out. <laughs> I'll huddle around with these, like I said, massive, massive things. So. There's our, there's our fun things to look at. Um, if you look in, of course, now that I say that, I think it's something to show you. So if you look in the catalog, all of the catalogs have it. Um, just a minute, because I just realized that is the spring catalog, and I can't show you the inside of that right now. So let's find it. There we go. The picture in the spring catalog is really pretty, so that but it's a sneak peek of what's coming. So at the beginning of, of any of our catalogs, there's a little section on kits. And in there, you'll see the paper pumpkin stuff. Uh, underneath it. Uh, but what you'll notice is, so you can get prepaid. So there's, I guess, three ways you can get um, a paper pumpkin box. You can buy the old ones that have passed. Um, once you're a subscriber, you actually have access to them right away. So if there are any refill kits or if there are any full kits left over after the initial subscription run goes, um, it's on the first Monday after the 20th, they'll post if there's any. So if you're a subscriber, you can go in and buy extra kits, extra refills, whatever you need. Um, if not, sometimes you will luck out and you will find people who have extras that you can get from them. But if you want a 100% guarantee that you can have the kits and not miss them, or at least have the option, because you do have the option with Paper Pumpkin, to each month, as long as you make the choice by the 10th. So the, it happens to be tomorrow, that's why I chose today. Um, if you make the decision by the 10th to get the kit or to suspend the kit, or I guess to cancel your subscription is the third option, um, then, then you're in control of whether you get that kit or not. They've started giving little sneak peeks. And I realize now that I did not grab my little picture. The one coming up in December, what we know is it's cards and it's punny and it has very cute fruit on it. And that the stamp set that comes with it has a bunch of um, like eyes and mustaches and glasses and things like that that you can use to put faces on your fruit <laughs> and then little punny sentiments with it. So if you choose, if you want that kit, the, the, the only way to guarantee you're getting that kit is to have a subscription so that each month it just automatically you get put in the queue to get one. Um, so that's the easiest way to do it is month to month. And so that's the one down here. It's $30 a month in Alberta. Uh, that's we pay GST and we pay shipping and the cost of the kit. Uh, I would imagine it's a little bit more in some of the other provinces because uh, I think we're the only ones without the provincial tax. But for us, it's it's actually I think it's thirty dollars and seven cents. 
So in order to do that, you just go to the link, you sign up as a subscription. As long as you do, do it by the 10th, you get the next month's kit. Um, if you want to just get take maybe take it for a test run, you can also buy some prepaid subscription plans. And you can buy one, three, six, or 12 months. Uh, this is also a great way to gift Paper Pumpkin. So if you have friends, brothers, sisters, mothers, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, teachers, anybody you can think of who you think might want to do this, you can buy a prepaid subscription for them. And what you get is a code and you go into the subscription site and you punch in the code and you will get, it will already have been paid for by you. Um, you can do the month to month as well, where you can go in and like set it up that it gets mailed to a different person, but you're like with your billing information on it. So if you wanted to treat your grandkid to a kit, you could go in, put their address for the shipping, but your address for the billing and your credit card. And then each month it would just ship to them. But if you just want to get a couple for them to try, they get a code, they go in, they punch it in. And if they buy like a three, six or 12 month code, that will still give them the same option to choose a kit or not. So if they have a six month subscription and the next one comes out, so let's say you don't want December's kit, as long as you went in by tomorrow and hit suspend, you wouldn't get December's kit. January's kit traditionally has been Valentine's, love type stuff, usually treat holders, but as it, as you know, there is always a way, I'll put them on the floor, um, to take the, you know, the gift card holder and make it into a treat holder. You could, I've saw a ton of really cute um, cards that were made with those little gingerbread houses as well. So you could turn those into gingerbread houses, uh, into cards. Um, these are treat holders that were made into a card. You can make, you, these would have made tags. You can, these kits that come with nine, they are, they are large, <laughs> large tags, but um, this is this is the front of the box. This is the back of the box. And the only embellishment I did, just as a note, is I put um, a piece of orange cardstock over because I was not I was not getting the uh, the green nose. I realized it had to do with the whole scheme and matching everything together, and, th and there was no other orange on here. But I, the green nose wasn't working for me, so I put a bit of orange cardstock over top. But these you could have split this one box into two tags. And they all came with an extra tag here and there's extra tags that went with this. And then you would have just had treat containers. So just because a kit may not initially look like, Ooh, that's exactly what I need. Uh, there is so much you can do with it. And like I said, I, I would put this, um, anybody who gets a subscription, when you're a desk calendar, that's right. There was a desk calendar. When it first started, I remember once there's a picture, uh, there was once a memory book. They tend to, they tend to go between tags, treats and cards now. But any one of these things could be made into stuff. There's a genius lady from the States um, whose name just went out of my head the second I said her name. And I met her in Florida, and she's the nicest lady as well. Um, and Tamara, you know who I'm talking about? Um, she started the Paper Pumpkin Fan Club um, Facebook group, and her name starts with an R, and that's all I can remember right now. Uh, anyway, she does amazing alternative projects with this. And um, she does a scrapbook page. Rachel Tessman, thank you very much, Tamara. That is exactly who I was trying to think of. Um, she'll do scrapbook layouts using all the elements of this kit. And I mean, these, these things with a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout, um, these things would be amazing on there. It's like, oh, yeah, it'd be fantastic. So there's lots of resources that will help you figure out how to like purpose these kits. Um, there's also Stamp It Up, even if you just want to make them the way they are, the, the artistic geniuses at Stamp It Up, which is not their actual title, but the artistic geniuses at Snap It Up um, come up with awesome kits. So even just to make them exactly as they were intended, they are a good thing. Like nine of these big treat holders, if it weren't for the fact that I need about 20 to get everybody in my family, we're all in different houses this year, or four different houses, I guess. Um, but I like to make table treats for Christmas dinner. So one kit was not enough, and I don't know why at the time I didn't think to buy more, but um, yeah, I, just as intended, I will make these up and whichever ones I don't use for gift cards um, might end up at my son's school. Um, I do love to surprise people and give them treat containers. Um, one of the best surprises I ever had was giving um, <laughs> giving leftover Valentine's treats that I made for my son's class. And I think he might have been in maybe grade two then. So they were like grade two level <laughs> um, Valentine's treats, but I ended up with six of them left over. So I gave them to the people working at the Starbucks that I used to stop at every morning on the way on my way to work. 
uh, when I lived in St. Albert, and they were the nicest people, and they would get so excited, and I gave them these treats the one time, and you would have thought I gave them gold coins. I, they were just, and so every time I made something after that, every time I made something for my son's class, for the next four years, <laughs> every time I made something for my son's class, I'd be like, here, here's a year, uh, the funnier one was when it was the end of school year in June, they would get little things like, yay, it's summertime, treats, and so I would make them for the, the people at the Starbucks too, and they, people just love them, so fill them up, you never know, there's, there's always someone you can give a treat to, um, but yeah, fill them up, hand them out, and uh, make somebody's day. Okay, so I tended to ramble there at the end because I got all, all excited. I love, I love making treat packages. I love to give them to people. Um, my family, I think, looks forward to them for all the main meals because they know they're getting something to put on the table with some kind of sugar in it. Um, one of these times, I'll, I'll throw them for a loop and put carrot sticks and dip in them, but generally they, <laughs> they are full of sugar. Um, so anyways, yes, to recap, because I've, ten, I've, I've straight off the path now. Um, if you get a gift card or a gift certificate or a subscription, or you want to get any of those things, let me know. I will help you figure it all out. I will put something together if you need so that you have like a piece of paper. I can hold an extravaganza. Oh, that's one of my other ones. It's a good thing you said that it was on my list. Um, I will make a certificate or something, whatever you, whatever it is that you need that you want, I will put it in here. Uh, Lord knows I have a bunch of little mini chocolate bars and stuff in my stash. I'll throw a few pieces of sugar in there too. I love to give sugar. And we'll figure out how to, how to get this to you. And then, yes, you'll have something to actually give the person. So they get a little treat right at the time, and then they get the gift of crafting, because it really is awesome. Um, so we have that. I do have the baskets. So you can either give the kit as a, here, would you like to make something Christmassy? Uh, and you'll be all ready for next year. Or some of the ones that are non-Christmas cards, I have those too, um, that you can, that you can uh, gift so they can have something like right then that they can craft. Um, and the other thing, thank you to Tamara for reminding me, is uh, I'm going to post, um, it'll either be on my Facebook page or if you get information by email, it'll be in a, one of the email bulletins. I'm going to post some information on a spring extravaganza. See, you have to do that live because you can't read that on the piece of paper. On the piece of paper, it just says extravaganza. But in reality, it's an extravaganza. And uh, Tamara and I, are jointly doing this um, and it's going to be spring themed um, and you will end up with a bunch of cards and treats and gifts that you can hand out for easter mother's day father's day or if you don't need any of those things um, see i amuse me um, if, you, if you don't need any of those things you can easily change them to say happy birthday or thank you or you're awesome or just because because really people love stuff and uh, just to let somebody know you're thinking of them and hand them a homemade card or a little treat container. It's just such a good feeling. So, oh, um, <laughs> laughing, at, laughing at the comments. Um, so yeah, that there's also the option to buy a, um, an admission to the extravaganza in March. Uh, and you will get, when you, when you register for it, um, you'll get like an email back that says, thanks, you're now registered. Here's what you need to bring. Here's where it is, like a little bit of information. So that could easily be printed off, rolled up into it with a ribbon around it and stuck in one of these boxes as well. So the first nine people to buy a piece of paper from me for, <laughs> for the extravaganza or gift card or whatever, I'll package it up nice. So you have something pretty to hand to the person. Um, but there you go. Hopefully the gifts galore package, oh, we're off screen. The gifts galore package gave you gifts galore ideas that will help you this Christmas season. Oh, and look at me coming in on time. Woo -woo. That doesn't happen often. Not when I get to rambling, it doesn't. So there we go. Thank you everybody for joining me. Um, Mary, you can send me a message afterwards if you if you were interested in one of these things. Um, now that my comments have moved, I can't get it back and I'm not sure what the answer there was. But yes gift packaging, gift cards, gift experiences, uh, any way you slice it, crafting is good. So I will post some pictures, I will post some um, links and stuff as soon as I'm done here. And uh, as always, just let me know if you need help and we will get you all set up so that you are not up to your eyeballs uh, in Christmas prep. Let me help. Thanks everyone. Have a great Thursday night. We will talk to you tomorrow when I do uh, little bit of reveal on the challenge. I'm very excited about the cards I came up with. 
So <laughs> if I just set some of us up, they're lovely. So uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning so you can see the challenge cards. Thanks everyone. Good night.